I am 1111 code. Let's talk about the Illuminati and secret societies. Let's look at Illuminati, fake or fiction. Well, as you can see, I've got a dollar note there. If you look at the dollar note, it show you this symbol and that numerology, which we'll talk about after I tell you about the Illuminati, who founded them. They were founded in 1776. The Bavarian the Illuminati. Yes, by an Adam. I'm not sure the pronunciation for his surname, so hence why I'm writing it. Why should something like that? He formed the Illuminati in 1776. Going back to the note, this is how we can find some stuff out. If we turn it over, you'll we'll see. I don't know if I can get this a bit closer for you. See the Illuminati Pyramid. Well, on the base of that pyramid is this number here in Roman numerals. So if you add that number, so the base there is where the number six on it. That equals yep, 1776. That's when they formed the Illuminati. With the um, American seal or whatnot. Even on the front, see George Washington. Well, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, they're all Freemasons. You know, you can research this yourself to find out. So what else can we look at? With the pyramid, where that adds up 1776, which is 21, which is free. They loved all that. But mainly, they loved the 33. That's what the Illuminati loved. But where did they come from, the Illuminati? Let's just see. What else I found out was that they were made from 13 bloodlines or families, whatever you want to say. Where does the bloodlines come from or families? In 1776, it was the first of murder, by the way. May Day, first of the 1776. And um, the families of bloodlines, from our research, I've seen the luminous, the luminous ones, Freemasons, I think it'll be a surprise, is it? Bildenbergs, I mean, yeah, anyone who's looked into this probably heard some of these. And the Rothschilds, this is to list a few. So let's just say, you needed um, 13 families, 13 bloodlines, yes. And then where did they go? Or Germany, America. I mean, if you look into Adam Hughes, he's, he's actually a German. He lived from um, 1748 to 1830. And in 17, I'm not sure when it was saying that, that might be this. Let's we'll put a question mark there. That base, um, sorry, not the date. That was when um, the Bavarian ruler, Charles Theodore, he outlawed the secret societies. So not after they formed, not that long after they were banned by the Jesuits or something. Hence why. They took the knowledge to either Germany, America, you know, and why? Because if you look into it now, you'll see, do your research into these families, Freemasons, whoever, Bill and Bergs, Rothschild, 
you will see that they own all the corporations, all the media, our banks, you know, so they need to do that, they want it to run the world, but they want it to run the world from behind the scenes, you know, like the scenes, <laughs> instead of the church, you know, so I was just thinking of Dar praying now, what else, there's even things like, look at area, area 51, what's that about, that's like Mayday, isn't it? Day of May, first of the fifth. That's when the Illuminati were formed as well, and that's the only area in the area, in the area 49, area 50, and all that. Look into area 51, you'll see that there's a lot of ET activity around it. So yeah, I suppose there's a lot you can see there. I'm even going to disclose this quickly as well. Maybe like, like if only like Illuminati, if only these type of groups. You know, where did these groups come from? But I can only go on about Freemasons. I mean, I'm English, I'm not even American, so I'm not too often American Illuminati. But going back to like before the Freemasons, there were like the Knights Templar at the Round Table, and they got their knowledge from King Solomon, got his knowledge from the Temple. And maybe the Knights Templars passed the secret knowledge around to the Freemasons and they're alike. And then that was like a splinter group from all these peeps made up the like the Illuminati. And I don't see it as a bad thing. Because if you look at secret societies, where they might have come from, how they have formed, you've got to say this, like, if you know some information and you want to disclose it, you can't just give that information out. Because you'll be branded like a nutter, weirdo, or you know, maybe even a threat for fearing people that might want to kill you. So then you'd keep your knowledge just to the select few understand it. Then all of a sudden, if there's a group of you, if that group expands, then obviously, you know, they're going to say you've got a secret society now. But it's for the interest of yourself and others because, for one, they might not be able to take the knowledge, understand it. So that's why they act the way they act in fear. And like, with you having it, you won't get very far if you get getting killed, would you? <laughs> so like, you can see why the knowledge is not sort of hidden, but it's more there, but in plain sight, but hidden. But anyway, I hope that's um, got your juices flowing. I'm a little code. I'm out. I love you all. Peace.